And welcome back. Well, it's been a gorgeous start to the weekend, but things are a changing for us. Notice we've had a big patch of hot air planted just south of Colorado. That's warranted for nice warm weather. Current temperatures still in the 90s throughout eastern Colorado. 78 in Colorado Springs right now. 92 in Pueblo. Salida about 70 degrees. A little bit cooler there. And Walsenburg at 73 right now. Taking you to Pumpkin Center in Lincoln County. Notice some building clouds. That's kind of a telltale sign of what's to come. Likely going to see some showers and thunderstorms. Storms moving through the area tonight, all thanks to this South Pacific moisture stream. We're looking at our water vapor imagery. That's kind of showing us how much water's up in the atmosphere and pretty significant amounts. And that's going to again meet up with some cooler air that's going to drop down from Canada on Sunday and kind of mix things up a little bit. Currently, again, the showers we're tracking right now right along I-70, pretty much through the Denver International area, but really further south, just a few little isolated cells right now. We are expecting more, though, as the afternoon and evening plays out. Here's how it's going to look on the skycast. Again, that first bout of moisture is going to die down along I-70. Walsenburg, Trinidad area, we're going to see another shot of moisture move through, but really the storms tonight winding down very quickly about 10:30 this evening. Just going to see cloudy conditions out there. It may Maybe a stray shower or two. Once we uh, wind into Sunday, a little bit different story. Those overnight lows, mild tonight, looking at 58 in Colorado Springs, 63 in Pueblo, 40s, 50s in the high terrain, and a few mid 60s out east. Lyman a little chillier there at 59. Tomorrow's temperatures, look how much cooler they are than what we saw today. 79 is all in Colorado Springs, 87 in Pueblo. The eastern plains getting a little bit warmer. That's going to help to feed some of those storms as they break over top of the mountains tomorrow. And mountain temperatures for highs, looking at the 60s and 70s, 80. In Alamosa. All right, extended skycast. Here's where things get a little bit interesting Sunday moving into Monday. So there's that batch of colder air dropping down from Canada. That is going to meet up with that South Pacific moisture. Those two elements coming together, it's going to drop the temperatures a little bit, give us more widespread and heavier rain showers expected by Sunday afternoon. Right when that front starts to pass through late Sunday afternoon, that's when we're going to see the biggest increase of rain. So likely going to see a few spotty showers around noon, but as the afternoon and evening Evening plays out. That's when the more heavy rain is going to move through the area right as that cold front continues to settle in. Here's what it looks like on the next seven days. All right, looking at 79 tomorrow again, about a 40% shot of moisture in Colorado Springs. The chance of moisture does taper off by Tuesday once that system uh, continues to exit out of the region. High pressure is going to rebuild over top of the state Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, allowing those temperatures to get right on track with seasonable averages. Pueblo, a little bit warmer tomorrow, but not as warm as what we saw today. Seven, uh, excuse me, 87 in Pueblo tomorrow, looking at 88 by Monday. Temperatures tapering off by Tuesday, warming back up though once Wednesday rolls around and drier conditions move in as well. Pretty consistent in the 60s. For your overnight lows. Canyon City looking at 83 tomorrow. Again, widespread showers expected to move through the area. Then we'll see those overnight lows pretty consistent into the high 50s and early 60s. Teller County, better chance of moisture there and heavier coverage on these storms throughout the mountains. You'll likely start seeing storms in the mountains probably around 10 to 12 tomorrow. And then again, as those storms make their way over top of the mountains around noon to three, that's when we're going to start to really kind of feel a temperature dip and more moisture moving into the area to kind of mix things up a little bit. All right, something we'll be watching all day tomorrow, too. Most definitely. All right, Jason, thank you so much. Josh is here now with sports. Windy day at the British Open. Yeah,